Greetings students, hope you are well. This is mathematics and with me is a question on the board. What type of roots does the equation 5x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 have? Okay, we want to know the type of roots that this equation have. This is from quadratic function, and what you are seeing here is a quadratic equation, okay? So how do we determine, how do we uh, know the type of roots that this equation have without really finding the exact values of x, okay? Well... As you can see, this is a quadratic equation, eh? and the quadratic equation has got what we call quadratic formula, okay? So, I'll be able to write the quadratic formula here. X is equal to, do you still remember? So, X is equal to negative B, there should always be negative B there, positive, negative, we have a square root here, B squared minus 4AC, everything divided by 2a. This is the quadratic uh, formula. From this quadratic formula, we are going to uh, generate what we call the discriminant of a quadratic equation. So, we have a quadratic equation here. To get the roots, we need to find its discriminant. It is the discriminant that will tell us the type of roots that this equation have. Okay? So we are going to say D, standing for discriminant, is always equal to you get what you have inside the square root. That is your discriminant. So in this case, what I have inside here is B squared minus 4AC. So this is what is going to tell me the type of roots that this equation have. Now, we're going to say discriminant is equal to, from this equation, from this quadratic equation, we have A, B, C. Hope you remember this, uh, the meaning of these letters. So the A is the coefficient of x squared. Then B is the coefficient of x. Then C is the constant. We'll substitute this in the discriminant that we have here. So what is our B? B is here, which is negative 3. So we have negative 3. There is a square here, minus 4. What is our A? A is 5 here. Then what is our C? Is 1. Okay? So let's find the answer to this. So I'm going to say D is equal to negative 3 squared will give us a 9. Okay? Then minus, that is negative 3 times negative 3. Minus 4 times uh, 5 times 1, that is a 20. Meaning, discriminant will be negative 11. I say that? So, this is our discriminant. Now, the properties are that if the discriminant is negative or if D is less than 0, we are talking about being a negative, right? Then, the roots of such a quadratic equation will always be no real roots. That is the answer. So, for this equation, since the discriminant is negative 11, therefore, the equation, so we are going to say the equation, the equation has no real roots. No real roots. That is your final answer. This implies that if you are to draw the curve for this such kind of quadratic equation, they are not going to touch the x-axis or they are not going to meet the x-axis because they have got no real values of x. If this is the x-axis, okay, let's say this is a, the x-axis, the, the graph for that equation will either be this way or this.
this way depending on the value of a we are saying this if discriminant is less than what is zero it will face up if the value of a here there if the value of a is greater than zero you see that but if the value of a is less than zero less than zero it will be like this it will not be able to meet the x-axis that is what we are talking about there so determining the type of roots depends on the value of discriminant that you are going to get if it is positive if this one was positive it means you are going to have two real roots okay that may be different meaning the curve will be able to meet the x-axis i hope this is clear